Welcome to Science with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover producers, consumers, and decomposers, and what role they play within an ecosystem. So let's start with producers, and producers have the unique ability of taking energy from the sun and converting it to chemical energy that can be used on Earth. This process is called photosynthesis. Basically, producers produce or make their own food. Plants, trees, algae, and some types of bacteria act as producers. All energy within an ecosystem starts with the sun, so producers are essential to all other life. Everything here on Earth starts with them. Without producers, there would be no way of energy to enter an ecosystem. And we have a, a couple of examples to the right. We have some grass and an apple tree there. Then we move to consumers. Consumers cannot create their own food and energy, so they need to consume or eat in order to gain that energy. There are different types of consumers. We have herbivores that consume only plants, carnivores, they consume only meat, and omnivores, which consume plants and meat. I have a video that talks more about those. I'll drop that link down in the description. But for now, just know that consumers must consume or eat in order to gain energy. Consumers cannot create their own food like producers do. And our examples, we have a grasshopper and some polar bears. Lastly, we move to decomposers. Decomposers do exactly what their name says. They decompose. That means they break down dead organic material and waste and then return nutrients to the soil. You can think of them like recyclers. The nutrients they pump back into the soil are essential to producers and their process slash role. If something dies, poops, or maybe even a tree loses a leaf, decomposers are the ones to break down the nutrients and return them to the soil. I do want to mention that although decomposers play a critical, critical role in ecosystems, they aren't always shown in food chains or in food webs. That's okay though, because we know how important they are and that they're there. Our examples, we have some mushrooms there and we have an earthworm. So producers, consumers, and decomposers all play huge roles within an ecosystem and the circle of life, so to speak. You can think of it as a cycle. We start with the producers, go to the consumers, and the decomposers recycle the nutrients of the dead organic matter and waste from both consumers and producers. Those nutrients are then used by producers along with the um, energy from the sun to start the cycle all over again. So there you have it. Those are producers, consumers, and decomposers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.